The CEO of FML Group of Companies, Craig Flowers, appeared in the Court of Appeal today. He's appealing his 2009 conviction for illegal gaming. When Flowers was convicted and sentenced to two years, the court also confiscated almost $1 million that police had seized during a raid on FML web shops. During today's proceedings, the court granted Flowers' attorney, Alfred Sears, permission to amend the grounds for the appeal. The court will hear that matter on April 16th. Still in the court, testimony began today in the rape and armed robbery trial of Thorne Cooper, who was accused of raping and robbing a pastor's wife inside a church back on June 15th of 2013. During today's proceedings, a scenes of crimes technician testified that he processed the crime scene on the day the incident happened. He indicated that he found fingerprints on the trunk of a red Honda that was parked in the yard and also found fingerprints on a blind of the office window and shoe impressions in a male bathroom in the building. Under cross-examination, the officer, officer said he did not recall seeing any blood, saliva or semen at the crime scene. The case continues before Justice Ian Winder.